Whitney concert stage has long ago been proclaimed unique, but this concert is more than unique because it is being performed for movie cameras. The distractions of an audience sprinkled with movie extras and an auditorium littered with movie-making apparatus is enough to distress any singer. But for Bette Midler, the aggravation is worth it because what you're seeing is the making of her movie debut as Bette sings and acts the title role in The Rose, a picture that won't be finished until sometime next year. It happens to be the story of a wild and erratic singer patterned after the likes of Janis Joplin, who Bette does resemble in some ways. takes place during the psychedelic 60s and in many ways Bette Midler is the perfect choice to personify the turbulence of that time when rock and roll stars seem to symbolize a general hunger for intensity and a more unconventional kind of lifestyle. I guess there's a reason why people wind up in the bus in, in show business and in rock and roll. Uh, it's uh, Rock and roll especially is, 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 is full of people who want to live fast you know and want to be known for living fast and and uh, I'm like that, you know. I have a little bit of that, not as much as some. But I'm a very simple person. This girl, the girl that I'm playing is a lot more complex than that because she really is at the bottom. She drinks and, and, and is, in that, is in that whirlpool of, dr of drugs and, and alcohol. And that distorts your vision so much that, it, that, that you often find yourself unable to get out of the, of, from the pit of that whirlpool, you know? Every time you read about this film, it's described as the uh, last eight days in the life of Janis Joplin. Now, is that true or not? This is, a, this is not the story of Janis Joplin. I would never do the story of Janis Joplin. This is a this is a made up story. This is fiction. Any resemblance to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> Not intentional. Not intentional. <laughs> See, I really love Janis. I she started me out, started me singing because I had never seen women behave like that on the stage. I didn't know any. I didn't know you were allowed to do that. I had no idea that you could dance and carry on and I mean shake your tail feathers like that and it was so much it looked like so much fun I said I gotta do that I want to do that Singing for the movie cameras is one thing, but for Bette Midler to suddenly have to become a dramatic actress playing opposite a well-trained veteran like Alan Bates seems like a rough assignment. Uh, it hasn't been rough. Huh? I mean, I don't know if it's any good or not, but I'm certainly not beating my breast about it. You must have some idea by now. No, I have no idea. No. I haven't seen a thing. I've seen no dailies. Oh, you're not going to Russia? No, I'm not. I won't go. How come? Well, because I'm kind of... I know myself fairly well, having spent below these 21 years with myself. At least. At least 21 years. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I don't like to watch myself. I don't, it makes me, it makes me ill. So I've decided, I decided at the start of this film that I wouldn't see, I wouldn't see any rushes because I didn't want to get too loony about it, you know. I wanted to be calm and just do my work. And then at the end, I'll have a bit. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not to. You're crazy about the way you look? What do you mean? Well, I'm crazy about the way I look. I think most human beings are. Uh, they, 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 you know, they don't, they're not exactly what they want to look like, you know? And when, when you see yourself blown up to that size, I can think it can be pretty intimidating, you know? A feature that you thought was okay uh, in life size is probably, you know, yeah. like Mount Everest. In, in, on, on a screen 40 feet high, so I don't, I didn't bother. I, I let, let the people who know what they're doing do it. 
So you still have yet to see yourself on the big screen? I have yet screen. to see myself on the big screen. I probably won't see myself on the big screen. Oh, you I'll probably ahead. keep going, keep making movies, and I'm never, never going to them. You will see the finished product, though, won't you? No, I don't think so. You're serious? Why? No, I'm not into that kind of uh, premiere nonsense. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't go for that. I mean, it's, I, I, to be in a crowd of people, in a crowd of 800 people, and all of them are wondering what you, you're thinking, and all that energy focused on you, I don't think I could bear it. Mm -hmm. Really. But you will and then if it's just vile, then if it's just awful, imagine all those faces that you're going to have to sort of... <laughs> imagine all those eyes you're going to have to avoid. Yeah. 1,600 eyes. Uh, it's really... It gives me too much pain. Pain is something Bette Midler has been singing about for years. Music has always provided an exhilaration that in itself is a way to overcome pain and depression. Now playing this role in a movie, Bette has been forced to confront her own personal demons. I have a little bit of that, not as much as some. Uh, so I did, I, I, I found things in her that I liked very much, that I found were a lot like me. You know, a certain sense of, um, of uh, worthlessness that, you, that comes over you sometimes. You know, when... Well, <laughs> a certain sense of worthlessness to you that you sometimes have a lot of trouble conquering. I'm, a, I'm lucky that I, uh, I'm able to. Some people aren't able to conquer that. Um, How do you conquer that? Me? I curl up by the fire with a nice big bottle of Valium. <laughs> <laughs> a big bottle of Valium? Yes. Honestly? No, it's just a little joke, David. Just a little joke there? But do you have, have you developed a way of coping with that sense of the absurd? Um, um, um I try, I keep busy mostly, that's what I do, you know, I, uh, if it happens in the house, I do a lot of housework, I get up, jump up and clean windows or something. Uh, it's, it, sometimes I think it's a chemical thing, but I find that it doesn't last. You know, the, the whole thing about tomorrow's a better day is really true.